Good day guys, Bing here. Um, today I'm going to show you some basic uh, tips of rooms and color scheme. Okay, so let's start. So first, create a project. Okay, so now in a floor plan, so let's model some wall. So WA, um, I'll just use this, so roughly. Um, maybe uh, like this okay so i'm going to trim here trim here trim here tr trim okay so let's pretend this is our uh, floor plan our building now we can place some uh, rooms so on the architecture room or you can use r m r m okay so you will see that's a uh, that's a quite, that's an open plan. So we probably need to add some room separator. So for example, if I want to add create a room here, so just add a room separator here, and here maybe I'll just add another one. So maybe I'll add one here, maybe another one here. Okay. So now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven rooms. Now you can use R, M again, so you can manually place room or you can just click this. Okay, so it will automatically create all the, place all the rooms for you. Okay, so now uh, let's, uh, so so if, if you move your cursor, so you will see this X. Okay, so this is the room. The room okay so and to make it easier so you can also use VV and go to room and check this so this is the reference is the X okay and also you can check the int interior field if you want to so see you will see this room and sometimes this is very useful uh, because if you uh, sometimes you place two room in the same same place so for example i place another one here and you will see the color change and then this is very useful you can tell oh i have two rooms here so i need to delete one if you if if you don't have that on so for example if i turn check this uncheck this and you won't see the difference you only see oh that's whole room and uh, it's, it's it's a bit hard to tell that's multiple room in one place okay so now i'm just going to delete this room okay so and so if you select let's now let's talk about the color scheme so if you go this is floor plan so in the property there is this color scheme okay so if 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 you select um if you click on this color scheme so let me have a look so usually yeah, because uh, for architecture, uh, uh, for us, uh, because I'm an architecture uh, draft draft person, so we, all, we usually just use this uh, category rooms. Okay, so just change this to room, and you will see there are two two um, different ones number, and the other ones department already there. So I'm going to use the department. Okay, so you can just you can just click OK and then type in type in the the parameter in the department. So if I'll show you, so if you click OK, select one of the room and go under properties, just scroll down, so you will see this department parameter. So you can type in, I'll type in I'll any just just type in any um name you like you want to you can call it interior or you can call it bedrooms here i'm just going to call it type one okay so type one so and you will see there's a color here okay now if i if we go back to the department you will see this type type one uh, being added here and actually you can also add before you play um you can add the 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 value here. So so for example, I'll add another one. I'll call it type two and OK. So you will see uh, Revit automatically uh, assign 
color for it. And you can, of course, you can change it. So for them, I'll type, change the type one to something like maybe some orange color. Type two, bluish. Yeah, that's fine. And I'll, I'll add another one. I'll tap type three and OK. Maybe this one I'll I'll use a gray color. OK. So now if I click OK, and you will see if the, if this this type one because it's already there you won't be able to delete it see it's not available but type two and three you will be able to delete because uh, it's not in this uh, or in in the project yet so if you click OK and select a room and then go back to department you will be able to click here about here so you will see type 2, type 3, you can just select type 3. So for example, uh, all these room uh, will be type, uh, so actually I'll change this to type 2, maybe, or maybe, oh, sorry, let's select 1, 2, you can select them all together, maybe 1, 2, 3, 4, I'll, I'll change them to type 1, okay? This and this, maybe I'll change them to type 2, okay? And maybe this room, I'll change this to type 3. So now we have the color, so to indicate um, different um, type of rooms. Okay, so this is quite useful um, at early stage of your project. So you can just create a floor plan and put in some color and that's it. And we, you don't even need anything else, just need some wall and some room. Okay, let's go back to floor plan and also you can you can use this color scheme to create some uh, floor 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 finish. So for example, I'm just going to I'll rename this uh, I'll call it um, uh, I'll call it floor floor plan uh, department day okay, day okay. And no, I don't want to change the name of the level. So right, uh, if you right click on the floor plan, duplicate. I'll just duplicate another another floor plan. So this one, I'll rename this as. Uh, this time I'm going to uh, make it a floor finish plan. Okay, so floor finish. So just need to go go to the color scheme again, and this time. Um, right click here and duplicate so this time i'll call it floor finish and okay so now we just need to change this so this is department right this is floor finish and just need to change this from department to floor finish and the colors are not preserved when changing. Uh, oh, that's okay. Just click OK. And for now, we can delete all of them because we don't have this value in any of the floor finish uh, parameter of these rooms. So let's just delete them. Okay. So delete, delete, and delete. And then we can add some uh, floor finish to it. So for example, timber. Okay. Timber floor. And maybe a tile, maybe a um, carpet. And also, um, you, we can change the pattern because previously it's all solid fill, it's all color. But this time, I, maybe I'll change this to uh, a gray color, but with a sand, sand uh, pattern. So for the t uh, for the tile, maybe I'll also use a gray color but I'll use a cross hatch so for the uh, timber uh, how do I change the name uh, uh, how can I change the name hell I can't change the name here here no that's for finish that's here um, anyway I'll delete it sorry uh, timber and then um, click here, I'll use a gray color as well. And then I'll just use a, some, you know, either vertical or horizontal. So I guess I'll just use horizontal 1.5 mil. So 
uh, okay and then so you will see now this color scheme is uh, floor finish but we still need to go to the room so for number one two three four I'll use carpet for this for, so oh sorry not department yet just make sure so, so be careful go to floor finish and carpet so maybe these two room I'll use tile and this room use timber okay so and maybe I'll use use timber for this room as well so now this is a floor finish plan so um, yeah very simple just floor finish uh, use the floor finish color scheme okay and also um, I'll just quickly place some furniture so in here I'll just place desk so place desk here there here there everywhere so just uh, uh, represent the furniture okay so actually so let me just change the color scheme location so now if I change the foreground so you will see actually nothing happened yeah that's because because this furniture we just need to edit this family because sometimes uh, the furniture is not visible in a floor plan so for example this desk if you select this uh, the bench the top the, be uh, the bench top so you will and go edit this visibility and the graphics override you will see this is not checked so it's not visible in floor plan or RCP so you just need to check this and OK and load it back so now this time you will see in the floor plan when the color scheme is set to background you will see that uh, the furniture will cover so, so the, the, the color scheme is uh, in the background of the, the furniture okay if you change this to foreground so you will see the color will be in the foreground it will cut um, so is that clear background foreground okay so let's go to floor plan a uh, department and foreground background okay so um, yeah that's that's a very uh, simple example of color scheme okay so and also you can use um, of course you can use room tag with all these uh, parameters so, so for example I'll just use tag room tag is RT RT is room tag so if, you, if I uh, where is the room tag see room tag here so RT so RT and you will have all these uh, only one two three so it's only room name uh, square uh, square meter area so actually you can add the parameter into the tag if you want to so for example I'll just quickly go edit this tag I'm going to just copy one of the label okay so for example I'll copy this one down and so select this one so first you need to make sure because this I copy this from a volume here and see this is linked to some parameter so what I need to do is just need to create a new parameter so this time I'll show maybe floor finish okay and um, instance or type maybe type okay so and I'll just click OK and click OK so and then we just need to edit vol ed edit label so see the volume because I copy from from the volume uh, label so just need to remove this <coughs> remove this parameter and just find the floor finish okay just bring it in here and now finish okay click okay just adjust it a little bit maybe I'll just move it to the same uh, height of the other you know options I'll leave it here and then load this into the project okay so now we can select this tag edit type duplicate so this time I'll use I'll call it with floor finish and click OK so now you will see this is the new um, parameter we, we created so we just need to check this one okay and 
with finish so there's no area so uncheck area and click ok so you will see this is a new tag this will tag also tag this uh, um, this value in the flow finish okay so if I CS create more tag so you will see timber timber carpet tile yeah it will tell us the the value of the flow finish parameter and also you can even type in the value in this tag so for example if I tag uh, 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 hang on. for example if I type timber exactly the same to the the other one and you will see the pattern will change to match this but if some if you type type a different one so timber 2 and you will you will have a new pattern and most of the time it will be color so you just and then you just need to go back to floor finish to change the pattern if you if you do need this 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 one so for example I'll change this to a different uh, maybe vertical 1.5 so, so now you have two different uh, pattern okay so and that's it so I think this is very uh, useful for early stage so you don't need anything you don't even need a floor so, okay um, if you have any question please let me know um, I'll see you next time okay so bye stay safe bye